Like what you're seeing here, subscribe to this channel for more. What up guys, this is Monkey Figure Reviews and today we'll be doing an unboxing on another One Punch Man figure. It is the DXF Premium Figure Genos. So as I mentioned in my Saitama video, uh, the, the Genos figure and the Saitama figures were released to basically promote the Season 2 of the One Punch Man anime and this Genos figure came out I think about a month after the Saitama figure in Japan. So let's just jump straight to the box. Uh, right at the front you can see the anime name, the series name and the character name as well as a nice shot of Genos. This is the side view to promote uh, the anime Season 2. Uh, this is the other side. We have another full body shot of Genos and this is the back half body shot and this is the top so generally the theme color for the box is different from Saitama's one this is just blue white and black so as you guys uh, have seen it is sealed let's take it out together let's go I have taken out the parts of this figure and essentially it's just three pieces. Once again we have this kind of like a translucent grey base to support the figure and the main body of Genos himself just comes in one piece and of course we have his head that comes separately. So let's just piece it together. I think this is how his head will go on and doesn't look like it will stand on its own as you can see. So let's just plug this in to his feet. So this is how the figure looks like when pieced together. Let's take a closer look starting from Genosa's head. Um, right off the bat I would just say that his face is pretty alright. Um, pretty okay I would say. Um, he managed to capture his you know, cyborg eyes and the face shape I think it is still pretty good pretty acceptable but the thing that I have the most issue with is his hair so if you look at the shading starting from his sideburn I guess over here to the front and then to the other side this dark shading that they put on is just horrible atrocious in my opinion because it's too dark it's really really too dark when you just look at his hair it almost seems like it's two colors and it's also not natural the way they put it. So if you look at this point where it kind of connects to the second piece of his head, it's different colors. Like it's not the flow of the shading is not natural. So if they wanted to do this, the least they could do was to make it continuous all the way to the back. But now it just looks like an eyesore to be honest, standing out too much for no reason at all. If they were going to do this shading, I, I just, you know, I rather prefer that they don't do it at all because this is just really, really horrible work. And um, honestly, when you look at the color of his hair, this is not even gold. I'm looking at the box right now, uh, and the color on the, on the box is just like gold kind of color, like blonde. But this is just more like gray, to be honest. Just like gray or very, very light, pale yellow kind of color which I think to me is really really poor um, because the prototype I guess the prototype look pretty good but now it's just meh this is pretty bad um, sculpt wise of the hair I guess is still pretty okay pretty alright as you can see just really man like the shading just kind of ruin it and also I kind of feel that his hair seems to be a little bit flatter than it was compared to the prototype and for his body, he's basically wearing this dark grey shirt. Some paint scratches over here. Um, kind of expected since it's a price figure. Other than that, mostly it's just kind of grey. Um, I think, okay, not grey, this is like silver. A little bit like glossy silver and black to represent his robotic parts. So generally, sculpt wise I think for his arms, it's pretty okay. It's pretty well done for a price figure. But once again, same issue with Saitama, I wish the body could be more ripped or more, you know, nicely sculpted 
to make Genos look more intimidating. But here, just kind of like pretty flat, kind of sculpt, which is a little disappointing for me. And other complaint that I have is just basically, um, I think they could have done a lot better if his arm is painted with a more glossy paint. Sort of the one that they have here on his hand, this is much more glossy than the one they have on his arms. So if they, they were to use this paint consistently throughout, I think it would look more shiny and more cool. Um, and other than that, I think his hands, you know, the black parts that they, sh that they kind of painted in for the joints, pretty well done. This is how he looks like from the back. Again, some paint scratches. So it's kind of like a QC problem. This is how the back of his neck look like and some creases but really not a lot i say i would say lesser creases than a saitama figure and maybe could have done better on that as well for his legs basically he's just wearing a pair of black pants with certain creases around areas like over here the knees um you know near the ankles and the back around there so his ass is pretty flat as you can see <laughs> not a lot going back there and some creases over here like I don't think there's any shading at all so just a plain black pants and to pair up with that is this black glossy shoes that is basically pretty simplistic in details too uh, one thing I like to complain is basically if you guys were to look here his right foot is just kind of floating in the air I tried you know to basically pushing this as much as possible downwards but it's just kind of floating up so it could be like a scalp issue or it could be a bending issue due to packaging but that is why when I was moving in right it kind of shakes a lot see if I was if I were to touch it it kind of shakes a lot so I'm hoping that long term wise there will not be any issue regarding leaning the height of this Genos figure from the bottom of his base to the top of his head is around 21 cm around eight and a quarter inches so pretty decently sized and now i have brought out saitama so you guys can see how they look like next to each other uh, in terms of height i think genos is around half a head taller than saitama so maybe when you're talking about the scale it should be rather accurate and close to the source material which is the anime or the manga now between these two figures, I kind of like Saitama more. Um, I think overall just his pose is a lot better with his cape, throwing his cape upwards. And another thing is also, I think for his plain suits, they actually did a pretty good job with the, the creases and the shading to kind of show more variation on it. On the other hand, with Genos, it's just really, really plain. I think there's, I can't really see any shading on his body other than the hair. And Honestly, they did him dirty on his hair. It's pretty bad. Uh, it just kind of looks kind of weird. Even from this angle, I think you can see the color changes. It's just like dark and then suddenly light color again. So definitely something that I think they should have QC or kind of or improve on. Well, uh, end of the day, these two guys are my first One Punch Man figures. I think they are pretty good. Definitely, I wish for better quality figures to come in the future and I do hope that they make more. I'll definitely buy them to grow my One Punch Man collection. Let me know what you guys think on this Genos and how they look like together. Uh, any comments, any questions, do leave them in the comment section below. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any new videos like this. So, um, I think they are meant to be kind of displayed together just like side glancing one another like this while they were while they are going to move out to destroy some monsters so that's all i have and i will see you guys very soon goodbye